All to action following a series of high profile domestic violence incidents in the Mid South. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and now advocates say a change in access to guns is making it much more dangerous. Action News 5's Kelly Cook live now with this story. Kelly. Well, city and county leaders say there's been about a 2% increase in domestic violence cases here, but domestic violence advocates fear it's much worse because a lot of times they don't report their abusers. So while city leaders are working to bring about more awareness, the number of victims continues to grow. Ellie was a light um, in this world. Tuesday, family and friends gathered to remember 22-year-old Ellie Young, shot and killed in Shelby Farms Saturday. Memphis police says her ex-boyfriend was the shooter. A similar story in Crockett County, where deputies are searching for Antonio Pewitt, a.k.a. Shade, wanted for stabbing the mother of his child four times Sunday. When, when we have the high-profile, highly visible, terrifying, horrible murders that we're talking about right now, it does make people aware. Deborah Club has spent the past two decades as an advocate fighting against domestic violence. It's an issue that doesn't seem to be going away. Earlier this month, the Shelby County District Attorney's Office said they have handled 4,100 domestic violence cases so far this year, including eight homicides. But Club says over the years, she's noticed a change in the weapon of choice many abusers use. Big ashtray or a lamp, just sort of whatever was in the room. Uh, some really crazy, terrible ones involved uh, tire chains, you know, those things we used to use to drive on ice, um, ball bats, you, you name it, whatever was sort of at hand. Now it's guns. The educational fund to stop gun violence shows a woman is five times more likely to be murdered when her abuser has access to a gun. Club says the answer is providing resources to victims and stronger laws to remove guns from those with a known history of abuse. It's just astronomically more dangerous now to be in a relationship that is toxic. Club says if you are trying to get out of an abusive relationship, it's important to have a plan. There are a lot of resources out there available right now. You can just go to MemphisSaysNoMore.com for those resources, or you can always call the National Domestic Violence Hotline, that number 1-800-799-7233. Kelly Cook, Action News 5.